Michael Stusser with Higher Ground. Along with the Marijuana Business Association, we're opening up the vault of cannabis knowledge. This is Profiles in Legal Cannabis. I'm with Jared Mursky of Online Marijuana Design. Thank you for sitting with us. Thank you for having me. Uh, you've been in designing for a long time now. Seven and a half years ago, uh, friends of mine who own dispensaries sought, after, uh, sought me out and said, hey, Jared, you want to come design my uh, brand for my dispensary? I asked, well, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love smoking weed yeah. and I love designing, so I figured, why not? It's, you know, I'd say probably the biggest challenge was, of building the business was learning how to scale the business. And, uh, you know, luckily for me, I've got a lot of really good friends in my corner who gave me a lot of really good advice as the business started to gradually grow, like, uh, you know, Pay your taxes. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, things like that. Yeah, no you kidding. Know, you're not Superman, you can't do everything. Right. Yeah, I know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where it gets fun and interesting is that um, branding cannabis, you really have to know the industry. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you, you really have to, un you, you have to know what it's like to live, breathe, and grow cannabis. You have to, you have to ask the right questions. You have to be involved. You have to have the right relationships. It is serious business, and you know the people that I have on my team are amazing. You know, mm -hmm. if I could give any advice to anyone, it's hire quality people and pay them what they're worth because it'll be worth it in the long run. I guarantee it. So we're we're here in this vault, this bank built in 1928, used to house gold, and now it's the Green Rush, we're trying to share cannabis knowledge from this vault. Mm -hmm. what, what would you like to lay down about your experience so far? Mm -hmm. Something surprising, something that you've learned. The biggest thing that I could tell anyone is branding is one of those things that you should focus on and put first. Uh, I can't tell you how many times um, a producer processor comes to us and branding is the afterthought. They think weed sells itself. <laughs> it doesn't sell itself anymore. It right. just doesn't. So again, my, my, my advice to you would be don't make branding an afterthought because it's not, you know, you're Putting in, you're investing all this money into dirt, you're investing all this money into your grow. You should be investing most of that money into your brand. Because I have no doubt it's probably pretty good at growing some pot. Right. Right? right. I have no doubt. Right. You're good. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. But the fact remains the same. Uh, the brand is really what's going to separate them. I mean, now you really are breaking all the rules. Is this, does she get to come into the office? Is she the office she dog? She is the office dog. You know, she's been in two, she's been in two magazines with me now. Actually, it's kind of funny. Okay, okay. You're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and her name is Blazy. Blazy. Yep. Thank you, man. Thank you, Michael. Yeah. Appreciate it.